things to know when you're a first time home buyer. This is a question we get all of the time. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty and I'm here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. And we're talking about the things that a first time home buyer should know when they're buying their first house. So the first one, I hear about this big three. What is the big three? The big three. Well, I try to explain that to clients with, you know, do you have the big three? Do you right. have three of the major things that you need? Credit, a good credit score, a good credit history. Makes sense. Two, employment job to pay said mortgage back but right. again obviously deeper right lot you know how long have you been on the job right. have you been employed for over a year or two and, and at the well same a big one i have friends that are going to go start a business and if you're just going right. out to start a business right you're right. not going to be able to yeah get you get sometimes you get the phone call and everything is great and they have two of the three they have it uh so not to skip but so the third one would be equity or or down payment right, right? so we ask those questions right from the start and those are the things that you need to think about again credit employment history is it stable are you a new a new business owner or things like that they may put you in jeopardy and then obviously the down payment savings and equity how are right. you going to handle that so the big three glad you brought up down payment so a first time home buyer should definitely know about minimal down payments because so many people think that you need 20 percent down in order to buy a house yeah no no how much do I need? You, you don't. Obviously, it depends on the buyer. Some people just come right in and say, hey, Jason, I have 10%. I have 5%. Obviously, the minimum, essentially, with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, what we call a conforming mortgage, is right. essentially 3%. Um, and then FHA, which is a great first-time home buyer program as well, that's uh, usually three and a half percent. Okay. Um, and that you can do actually all up to a, a two, a three, and a four family as well. So that's I love those. Yeah. And just something to know that any veterans out there, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. um, as a thank you uh, for uh, your service, rightfully so, there is actually the VA program where you can put zero zero down, down and right. they they deserve it obviously, and that's the only program essentially uh, that you still have a zero percent down payment in today's but world. In today's world, and and obviously. As, as it should be for those okay. guys. Yeah. So you, part of the big three was your credit. So you yeah. obviously should pretty much know your credit score, right? You should. I mean, that's something that you you want to look into. A lot of people are afraid of, of finding out what their credit score is, or kind of put their head in the sand. Hey, we've all we've all right. been there, and all missed the payment at some point or something in our lives. Or in well, I know you you gave me this hack, which I continue to tell people. It's just going to Experian.com, which is one of the three credit companies, yeah. right? And they allow you to pull your credit, no charge, no credit card, no nothing. One time free a year. One, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I mean, that's a great place to start. Don't be afraid, right? Tr right. Tr try to find out what it is, and then obviously we can help you pull that credit or verify your credit right. we really want to pull your credit to do a really certified pre-approval when we start that process um but well, wait wait you pull credit does that hurt my score if you pull my credit does that hurt my score we get that question all the time too right people say i want you to pull my credit i don't want you to pull your credit i'm like well you want me to lend you five hundred thousand dollars so right. i need to pull your credit um I, i'm joking but obviously we don't want to pull it a lot but no on a mortgage credit inquiry it does not negatively impact it because the algorithm knows that you're essentially looking for a mortgage right. now if you're growing out there and opening four different visa accounts and a best buy and a home goods and this and that well, that's unsecured debt or revolving debt the algorithm doesn't like that. You're right. actively trying to secure debt. That unsecured is revolving debt, debt bad. Unsecured debt, debt bad. Good. Installment loans, secure debt, aka air car loans, home loans, things like that. Not so bad. Again, you don't want to get 500 mortgage companies pulling it, but you can pull it once. It's good for about 90 days. We're going to verify that. We're going to help you. And if you're afraid that your score is a little bit low, we'll walk you through that and educate right. you too. Okay. So you also probably need to know your budget. And what closing costs? Like, of course. It, it, you're, so we talk about down payment so much. People are focused on the down payment, but there's also that closing cost. So that just wraps into the total budget. Right, right. right. They get caught up so much in, oh I, oh, I saved up my little, my, I shouldn't say little, but my 5%. I've worked hard. I have that on my 10% or even just my 3.5% my down. Um, but that's Which, sometimes people come to the table and they say, I have it, I have it, I have my right. $15,000 to buy this house. And then I say, well, you need to expect a little bit more with obviously closing costs. Right. Yeah, and for the record, uh, my first house, I put 3% down. Uh, my second house, I put 10% down, down right? and my third house was 20% right. down. So, Which I mean, that's... The natural order of right. things, As if you're lucky enough. Right, yeah. as generally speaking... Nothing wrong with that. Right, we put less down because, you know, we just got out of college, or we got out of college five or ten years ago, and we still have debt, yeah. and, you know... Me too, 3% down. Right. I mean, my first house. And that's what's great about these programs is, you know, they are government-backed programs that help those first-time homebuyers. That's buyers what they're have. there for. Right, exactly. I mean, that's, so. Even if you have more of a down payment, Jeff, sometimes right. it's fine just so you put the three and a half percent down. And I mean, it's why, funny you say that. You so in my first house, I actually put three and a half percent down. You're right. Um, I did have more to put down, but to my point was 
Um, yeah, at this time in my $215,000 property that I bought back then. Yeah. So, you know, I had 10 grand or 15 grand I could have put down. I was like, well, why would I ever do that? Hey, right. let's leave that $7,000. And we probably market, talked about it, you right? and I, Yeah. you know, so, and just said, hey, you don't need it. Or again, to your point, maybe you use whatever you have extra for those closing costs, right? And we talked about that. Sorry story. about the best investment I ever made. But anyway. Yes, not so, a bad thing. Benefits of being a first time home buyer, you know, is there like a money fairy that just comes around and gives me money as a first time home buyer? Yes. I, what are my benefits? Yes, there is. No, oh, uh, we, we, we get that question all the time. I mean, sometimes folks call up and say, well, I'm a first time home buyer. You know, what do I get? Um, it is legit. And then people talk and you talk to your friends and you, I mean, that's just life, right? You get experience and advice from, from family members and friends at work. but. There's no magic bullet, as I like to say. There's no magic. So there is no that, money fairy. There's no money fairy. There's no special prize that you okay. get. Now, again, is there great first time home buyer programs? I always half joke when people say, What do I get? I'm like, You get a house, you know? Right. You get a mortgage at a good rate. Um, but, well, but seriously, you get the benefit of being able to put 3% down, right? right? As opposed to putting 20% down. You get the benefit of being able to stretch your debt to income ratio with an FHA loan to maybe 45 or 50 or 55, where you can't own a Conforming loan. That's so these a, that's are sub a benefit. subsidized programs that help home buyers, especially first-time home right. buyers, who may not be perfect, get into the right? marketplace. Yeah. Who may like not me, be exactly right. Bought yep. my first house. Buy that house. You sell that house. You move up. I mean, right. it's you're, about you're young. You you're on the job. You're getting in, and you don't have to be young to be a first-time home right. buyer. But it's about again, it's not that I'm. You know, I have 800 credit scores, and I have 20 percent down. Well, right. not everyone's like that, and especially when homes are well, 700,000. I, I, I think pretty much most, most people aren't first time right. Homebuyer. Exactly, I think especially first-time home buyers. So of course, unless you're very, very lucky. Right. So, so that's what you get, right? You get that benefit. Um, FHA, for example, is you know they'll allow you to go to a 620 or a 640 credit score. You don't have to have that 700 score. So that's the benefit that you get now in today's climate models can you use a gift funds and things like that there's other things that we could talk about but there's a lot of benefits for a first time so, home buyer but there's no magic what about money where like quote unquote the government's giving me money as a first time home buyer i swear i hear about that all yes the time. yes we get those questions too sometimes you can get it in the legs of down payment assistance as we okay. call them dpas uh, or daps um, but usually, a lot of times people think that we, meaning the lender or the banks, are giving that money, and most times they're not. It's usually, sometimes it's community banks, they'll have a special little program. With um, the community that they're with in. With the community that they're in, because yeah. they know that community. They say, hey, right. if you want to move to this town, or even you know, the city of Boston, we'll allow $5,000 towards your closing costs. Well, for an example to of X that. amount of time, because they want to stimulate right. people moving into that community. Like right? in Baltimore. Baltimore is a great example of a city right now that is giving these incentives in order to get people back in the city because, quite frankly, it's not doing too great. Right, I mean, right. they're, generally speaking, if those incentives are there, they want people moving to back, right? motivate homeowners back right. in because homeowners generally take care they of property Of course they do. Right. And I know Detroit's so, tried that in the yeah. past, too, and, and Boston. And they do have, work. It's a different market now, right. but Boston's done it and other towns do it. So yeah. that's where you do. And the last thing I'll say on that is, guys, do the research yourself. Call us. Ask us those cool questions. But a lot of times, look online see where those incentives are you can bring those we're happy to honor them but we don't provide those incentives right. you want to be able to again to coming from the that. community not the bank it's, it's coming the from the town or the city that right. you're trying to buy in so yes so and then the average closing time i get this question all the time which is about 45 to 60 days i mean for you yeah. guys what's the minimal amount of time you need really to close a loan from beginning to end yeah i mean anything under 30 days is uh is gets the heart going a little bit and it's right. pretty tight and obviously uh we can make that work in a pinch but but we'd like to see about 30 to 45 and sometimes it depends on the deal 60 days but yep. i would say 45 on average is yeah. a good nice and i know we've talked about the simplicity of a pre-approval and you know we've talked about that on video we've yep. also talked about how important the pre-approval process is but hey look that's really obviously really important it's something that you need to have in order to be a first-time home buyer and buy an actual house right? well let me ask you jeff would you take out a buyer who doesn't have a certified pre-approval in we, this market we do um we'll, we'll go out one or two times you'll answer the questions right, right? you get no, started let's but go get you... comfortable and everything but yeah we're not going to go show somebody right. 40 houses without right. a pre-approval because you know, at that point, it's it's the buyer's time as well as our time. And sure. the buyer needs to know that they are qualified in order to buy in that price range. Because I've seen it where it's heartbreak. Like, I thought that I could buy X when really I could buy Y. And, you know, say if there's a $100,000 difference in between, well, 100 grand buys you a right. lot more house. Right. And how many right. times have you and I been working with someone who maybe kind of put the cart before the horse, they talked to you, they went under contract, and then they called me, and then I said, hey, Jeff, guess what? <laughs> Mr. Jones. Those, those online pre-approvals. Mr. Jones doesn't online. have, you know, so, so again, we, we, we're joking, but not really, because we're, we're just stressing that basically recapping everything we just talked about, 
a lot of those questions are maybe that you're nervous to start the process. The pre-approval answers all that question. And that's you start what we're to here dig for. on that stuff, right? And that's right? what we're here for is to really walk them through, so, right? And educate them. You know, I think one no pressure. I think one that's really is is, is I've heard people being like, "Well, does it cost any money for me to have the conversation with you and go through the pre-approval process?" Does do you cost me money like a lawyer does when I'm talking to you on the phone talking right. about my situation? Right. Yeah, exactly. No, we get that question. So no, the answer yeah. is no. We do a free consultation. We're happy to do that. Obviously, we want to help you and provide your financing for you when, if and when you do buy we that house. And, and that's when we'll be compensated and we'll go through that. But no, we're happy to walk you through it. No pressure. We're helping to educate. And, and that goes for any good loan officer. Right. You know, they're here to answer the questions, walk you through it, and take away. It, look, it's going to be nerve-wracking. It's going to be stressful no matter what. It's but we want to mitigate that. You are buying a home you are borrowing a lot of money we want to try to alleviate that and just you know how you do that with education right answering well, questions and, and asking the goal them. of this right, right exactly so you know well to that point right should if i'm a first-time home buyer should i be scared really about starting the process yeah i mean so i you know no. i'm a first time owner. should i should i be nervous to pick up the phone and call you be very afraid no i mean again and it's just natural it's human instinct right, right? we've all been there i know i was i was decision. in the business and i was still terrified right. when i bought my first home and maybe even second well, doctors make the worst patients so. exactly exactly so like again what i just said right it's it's always going to be stressful but no you don't be scared because again you're going to feel oh i don't know what my credit is or i don't know how much i qualify well guess what you're never going right. to know unless you dive in and you're going to feel so much better just like anything in life when we finally attack it you're going to have those answers there's nothing to lose and maybe it's not exactly what you wanted to hear at that instant but guess what we're not just going to say no sorry you don't qualify we're going to say this is what i need you to do over the next right. three to six months or nine months maybe we need i've done that a million times points, yeah. 20 points in order to increase or your save up a little points. bit more of a down payment or you know what you've right. only been on the job mr jones nine months or a year and a half with your new plumbing business you know call me back in six months let's work together and i mean we, we never just push you aside we say this is what you do let's get on those right train track there uh, many many times i've worked with guys and then boom wouldn't you know it we're closing on their house for them right. you know and it's a feel-good story and, and it's true so get educated don't be scared ask the questions start if you want to be a homeowner i think that's the biggest part of it get educated and look i mean if you're buying a house for the first time that means you've bought one house. I mean, versus <laughs> right. us, where you know, there's there's thousands of homes worth of experience and here. transactions, yeah. And that's why we love the questions, right. and that's why we, we love talking to people. Because I don't know about you, but I, I love what I do. And I, I do too. And I love having the conversations. Yeah, there's nothing them. we haven't seen, really. Right. You know, <laughs> hopefully at this point. Right. Exactly. Um, so I'm Jeff Chubb with EXP Realty. We're brokered um, by EXP Realty, I should say. And our best number is six one seven four eight zero two six zero zero. You can get us online at boston2.com. This is Jason Bonarigo. Jason, how do they get a hold of you? RMS Mortgage. Uh, you bet my cell phone's the best way. 617-413-5038. Give me a call or shoot me a text. And if you're finding this information useful and you want to know more about pre-approvals or closing costs, we, we've really gone through it all. Be sure to hit that subscribe below button. Um, we're going to have more content that's coming to you. And then if you have a specific question that you're wondering about, most likely other people have the same exact question. So we look forward to hearing from you in regards to that question as well as helping you in your home buying process. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.